hey y'all hey welcome back to my channel today i am doing an unboxing of the mini cinch you guys if you know if you've been following me for a while you know that i have the mama bear of the cinches and now i have finally grabbed this mini cinch it was released a few months ago on hsn and it quickly sold out and it was on back order so much so that I requested my money back and decided to wait because I like to have my stuff right away. And that would have been the first time that I used HSN, but it didn't play out. So I let it go and then I stumbled upon the mini at Hobby Lobby. And it was definitely cheaper than what was sold on HSN. Now, if you go to Amazon... It looks like Amazon right now is sold out and it's $95.19, if you can see, $95.19 on Amazon. And it's also housed by scrapbook.com and they're selling it for $94.04. However, at Hobby Lobby, and I had to make two trips for this because I was not expecting this to be there let alone to be on sale because it's been like sold out i grabbed this baby from hobby lobby for 59.99 and they only had one i don't know if they had any in the back but there was only one that was out in the front so went back the next day and boom it was there so now i have my cinch so Let's get it open and let's try it out and see. I have not opened it. All right, so on the back, it lets us know that we can have, let's see, let me bring it up close. Punch up to 16 sheets of copy paper at once. I'm actually using cardstock, so I'm not gonna use that much. Then they have the compressed wire binding and the cinch bar, the thread pages. Oh, easily thread pages. Then you have the punch with the leather. Adjustable alignment guide for oh, excuse me, any paper size. Secure handle grip. And it works with 0 0.625 inches, which I believe is 3 fourths of an inch. But let's just see. Okay, here's the question. People ask, what is 5 eighths of an inch as a decimal? And it is 0 0.625. So, I have some a 5 eighths of an inch wire binding. I have some wire cutters so that I'll be able to cut it down. Sorry, I have the camera shaking. I'm actually trying to... There we go. Okay, so I have some wire cutters from my jewelry, um, jewelry set, and I have a, I printed out a cover. This is on glitter cardstock from Walmart, pin and gear, and my doll I got from Coco Twins. So you can go to CocoTwins.com. Miss Misha Bazemore has loads and loads and loads of graphics. And this is Ava, one of my favorite ones. So I am going to make a mini notepad, kind of like this, on the spiral notebook. And I made this one with Big Mama. And I'll show you her in a little bit. I made this one. I made a few. These are my testers. I think she's super cute. And this was just supposed to be like for shopping. And then this one was like a little travel pad. And I made all of those with Big Mama. But we're going to play with this one today. So it comes in this little, it's small y'all. This is my hand. And this is Baby Bear. My hand is like, it's about the same size. And it came with the instruction book. It's in English and in, I'm going to assume that it's French. I don't know. 
we're going to stick to the English side. <laughs> and then you open it up and it gives you all the info. Alright, so you can see it goes from 0 to 5, 0 to 5 inches. Let me, you know, you can't see. Let me pull it up for you guys. Alright, so as you can see, it goes from 0 to 5, 0 to 5 inches. And it has a handle, which has a bar to hold it. It has some measurements over here. And it has some holes to help you with the um, sizing. Let's see what this stuff is officially called. Let me. It's an alignment guide. Okay. So this is the alignment guide, which easily adjusts edge for centered holes. Then we have the peg, the alignment peg over here, which is also on the Big Mama which holds the paper down when you're um, doing your second set of holes. We did the measurements. We did the, the handle. There is a waist bin underneath. And these are called the wire binding, the wire binding hooks over here. And then that is the part that actually cinches. Okay. So to open it, I think you just push down the handle. Oh, and it popped right off. So you definitely want to, and it just goes right, definitely want to put that right in there to hold. And I probably should read the instructions, but because it's raining, I don't know how much time I'm going to have before it starts thundering again. I am just going to keep going. So let me just show you a little bit. Here it has a center mark. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then that is the full measurement guide. Now it says, I guess, whole and half inch numbers. So I'm assuming that if your paper is has a whole number, a whole number measurement like five inches, four inches, six inches, you're going to use the A, which is here. That is A. And then if you have a half inch, you're going to use A. But if your paper ends in any of the off numbers you'll use B or you'll use C so my paper is four and a half inches and I just I grabbed this from Michaels and it's white cardstock but my cover is from Walmart pin and gear because this is the glitter cardstock so that's something different and I just cut it down to size I don't even know how many pages I use I'm going to be honest. So let's see if I can figure this out. Alright, so you put it in there and then it sits. Oh, I'm so wondering, should I use, let me use a scrap piece of paper first. Because I don't want to mess it up. Now, I want to put my holes at the top. And so, four and a half and four and a half is what? Two and a quarter? So, at two and a quarter inches, that'll be where my halfway mark is. Which is right, right there. and a quarter however looking at this guide here my two and a quarter is over here 
So I don't think that's going to work out right. But just for GP, and again, let me just measure that it is four and a half. Okay, so it's saying for the cent for um, smaller sizes, like the center punch, it's just saying line it up in the center. And I actually don't see the alignment guide. So we will take the alignment guide out. And let's do, since this notebook is mine, I'm just going to measure two and a quarter. That's my good sheet. So let me try on here. And so I'm going to line up my line with that center mark in there. I'm trying to see what is the best way to show you guys. Because I actually can't really see myself. So I found another way to show you guys. <laughs> so here is my line and I'm just going to line it up, go straight back. Hopefully it's still in the center. Grab my handle and pull down. And that does look like it is in the middle and it's only giving me six holes. But I'm wondering if I need more holes than that because you see this is a lot of room. So where did I put the alignment guide? Let's do. Okay, so I put the alignment guide in and That goes across. We're going to move the alignment guide. Sorry for the shaking. Going to place it just like the big cinch. And if you haven't seen my video on the unboxing of the bigger cinch, Mama Bear, I will leave a link up above and down below. And so with the adjustment pin, you want to put it in a second one. And that will hold your paper. And then I'm going to lower it again to punch holes. And you have to lift this up to take your paper out. And now you have holes all the way across. I think I want to do it that way. And then this will give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine holes across. So I think I, I want to do that way. So let's go back to using the alignment guide because it does have a purpose. And it's okay, it has that mark because it is just for me. And since I have a four and a half inch cardstock piece of paper, I'm using A and I'm taking it out, going to the second hole, push down my pen, making sure that the back is up against the wall and the back so that it's not um, there we go All right, so we're going to do this and then what I'm going to do is punch out my insert and then come back I'm not going to put you guys through that painful That painful seam. Okay, 
And it sounds like it has stopped raining. Hooray. Boom. All right. So we got that. And now I'm going to punch out the rest. And then I'll be right back. What I do want to show you guys first is what I'm going to do with, um, I think I just used three cardstock here. But to go through all of them, I'm going to do the first bunch with this all the way in. And then I'll come back. And then I'll do the second half. And that way, I don't have to worry about moving my um, pin. All right, and this is my last one. I probably should have had my um, grip mat because this does slide on this table. So... Let's see how good I did. Matching them up, you can see all the way through. So I did great. All right. So again, I said it has nine holes. One, two. All right, there's nine holes here. One, two, three, four, five. Nine. All right, so I don't need all of the loops on the cinch. Okay, so right now we're going to just use this side and I'm going to place it on there and then first I'm just going to do all the blanks and just slip them over the hook and this will give you I mean you can cut nine I'm probably doing too many at once you can cut nine in the beginning if you want but I just like doing it better this way than that way I can. Uh oh, I pulled it right up because I'm scrolling. So I can see that I'm going to cut there. Starting over. And normally it's not that difficult. For some reason, I see my paper is shifting as I'm putting them on. Oh, you know what? I know, I know what it is, too. Sometimes there are little tags still left from the punch. So you have to make sure all the tags are off like these little things. I don't know why I'm on the struggle bus today with this. I mean, I tried to separate them and not put, put so many on.
And then I like to take it off just to make sure it is in the center. And then I will cut the part I don't need. Then I will put my cover on first. And then the, the back part upside down so that when you flip it, it'll look like that when you flip. All right, so let's get to cinching. So it's only one size on like Big Mama. Let me show you Big Mama. Here's Big Mama. <laughs> So on the back of Big Mama, she has various sizes, 3 eighths, a half, 5 eighths, 3 fourths, etc., etc., etc. And you would just turn this knob to get to the size that you, that you want. But not with Baby Bear. <laughs> so with Baby Bear, you just have this one size and... I thought this was supposed to sit inside of it as it is the correct size as indicated, 5 eighths of an inch. And with the other one, you would put the rings all the way to the back. But, uh-oh. So what I started doing is closing it by hand just a little bit because I have the size that it said, but it's not doing what it's supposed to do. And I have different sizes um, as well, and I will leave a link in the description bar down below. I wonder if it'll make a difference if I use the half because it's not going in like it's supposed to. So here is where I actually made the discovery that I was using the wrong size wire. Now, even though I went through the whole process with you guys to figure out which was the correct size to use, I still picked up the wrong size because I really wanted gold to go with this tablet here. But I finally got it now. I'm going to I actually had a pack from... The We Are Memory Keepers. And these are from Hobby Lobby 2, $4.99. And it actually says 0 0.625. Even though I looked up the measurement and it said what it said, <laughs> it doesn't appear that everybody 0 0.625 or 5 eighths of an inch is the same. So actually, since I have the actual brand, And see how easy that one was. Should have just did it in the first place. But I don't have gold. Which is what I am using. Alright. Alright. That's a whole lot better. And you see it fits actually in inside. So I'm going to turn it this way. Just so I can have a nice little grip. And I'm going to push the lever down and I'm making sure that the back is touching and then I'll do these see if I can close that just a little bit more I see this one was turning but I just like to make sure that my loop is closed. All right, and then there's some pointy edges. So I'm going to take, I think it's called needle nose. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is round it off in the opposite direction so that I won't get cut.
I mean, you could probably clip it off too, but I just want to. And no, I'm not cutting it. I'm just turning it inward. I think I may have <clears throat> spoiled it just a little. I'll put something in my throat. May have spoiled it just a little bit too much. But it still flips. So I definitely... Okay, here's all the little pieces. Need a little bit more experience. But I did complete the ultimate task using the mini so I would say it is a keeper I just have to play with it just a little bit more I would definitely say this is a keeper I am going to practice just a little bit more to make sure I nab that that pinch down it is it does feel a little different to me because I'm so used to the bigger one and so I just may have pinched it just a little bit more than usual and i'll probably look into actually the buying the actual cinch winding buyers to make sure winding wire binding <laughs> wires to make sure that i actually have the right size because i believe it only does this one size which is 0 0.625 which is fine for me these are things i could do i could take this to work throw it in my little craft bag and knock some of these out while i'm at work since it will fit it's lightweight and this is the tray I'm afraid to take it out on camera though cuz I'm messy Susie I can't even get it I would have to get my son to do it with these nails but yeah that's it so let me know down below guys what you think in the comments and I'll leave all the necessary links that you will need down below don't forget to click that like and subscribe button to be the first to know when there's a new video posted to this channel. And tell a friend about Zari's creations. Take care, stay safe. Bye now.